Okay, Victor Momo from Excel Moments here with a continuation on the series of formula breakdowns to Excel BI's LinkedIn challenges. Like I've said in previous videos, if you're not following the Excel BI LinkedIn page, you should if you want to boost your Excel formula again. This is challenge 144. That's a lot of challenges. Okay, let's get into the question. It says match the acronyms given in column c so we have some acronyms here match them against the words given in column a okay so it means from the acronym you want to return the words that's what we're trying to do it seems very obvious what we need like if you look at aids you can see it's a i d s more or less like the first alphabet of each of the words in there and that gives you your answer that logic is fine until you get to fbi where you now see federal bureau of investigation fboi right instead of just fbi but good enough he has helped us magnanimously you know to put in lowercase any alphabet that he wouldn't want to feature so for example this is f b o i but because o is in lowercase then you can conveniently skip it okay so i would show you you know one logic which is kind of how i approach it and um, then there were some more elegant solutions so my final solution here would be like a blend of you know what i thought about and what some others did so what you could have done is you could have started with a text split you know first and then you split this text you know using a space this will give you let me show you this one okay so that you can see this here yeah so now you can see this european union right you can then use the left function the left will give you the first alphabet of you know each of those characters there so you do left okay so you see the eu here you also have fboi you can then do you know a concart which is just you know squash everything together mm -hmm. Right? So this would have been simple, but the only thing you now need to do internally is while you are making this work, you need to test each of the characters and check if it's an uppercase character. If it's an uppercase character, then you need it. If it's not an uppercase character, then it doesn't feature in your contract. Once you do that, you know that should work for you. Okay? So that's one logic. Now, the one I want to show is we could actually do a split using a lowercase wherever you see that if i have you know like this this goes from e to u so if i split with a lowercase because there's a transition there from a capital to a lowercase you will have that e being kept then you know the lowercases are the delimiters the same thing will happen in this u here you know where it transits into n so you could split each of them using you know all the lowercase alphabets as your delimiter so how do we get all the lowercase alphabets we know that they are from character 97 to 122 in you know your char uh, function so what you can do is that you can do a char then you do a sequence right you know that it starts uh, it's 26 rows yes and they are 97 of um, 97 is the stats rather okay so you do this and then you can see that we have our lowercase a to z so this will be our delimiter we are going to split each of those strings using that. So I can do text split, you know, and I'm going to split this text using that as my delimiter. See what happens. Okay, you can see that we have our E there, then the others, lower cases, of course, nothing is going to happen. You have spaces there all the way to the U. Then you can take this down to, you know, nine. Okay, so now once we get here, we can easily do like a trim. You know get rid of a lot of those um, interesting spaces let's see we can do a trim let's see what that gives us okay and then bring this down this is necessary because of places where you have you know like some consecutive spaces okay so let's see after doing the trim then now i will do a concart which is like bringing everything together okay and now you see that Okay, so with this, I've gotten my expression. So it means, but now the way I've written it, I have it in one, uh, you know, I have it in separate cells. I typically want to write it. I want to write it in one cell and, you know, have it spilled that way so that I can have more or less like a lookup array already sitting there for me that I can look up all these names against and get my answer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my map function, you know, I select all of these guys. And more or less, like I'm using this expression I just wrote here to transform 
these words into the acronyms okay so where i have a two here i just change it to x that's really what i need so it's just going to perform that operation on you know it's the same result but the difference is just that it's sitting in one cell and it spews okay and then yeah I spill error because of that okay so now you see we have everything so this can be a lookup array lookup array in the sense that you can now look up this acronym against this and then return the words okay so does that make sense so fine so this already is your lookup array so what you now need to do is you can hold this here you know just hold this as your lookup array and you write you know your formula again okay so you can do you know your x lookup and you say here you're looking up maybe this you could decide to well take all of them <laughs> right and then where are you looking them up you're looking them up in this array this is you know the array where you can find either aids because don't forget that this array is already the acronyms right and then what should it return it should return for you the words okay so it's like look for aids in the uh, um, array that has the acronyms and then return the words okay so some of them may not be found so in such a case where some of them are not found you can say if they are not found return it now let's see what this is okay so and now you can see that this okay so let me just take this down once okay, so it kind of aligns all right so you can see that AIDS now gives us you know acquired immune deficiency syndrome you know and so on and so forth so that's how to solve this it's really an XLOOKUP problem but it's just your creativity in getting you know the acronyms out as in, in such a way that you skip lower cases and once you get that part to work then you're pretty much you know home and dry so i hope you like this construct and i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please um, hit the like button also subscribe yeah please do subscribe to the channel excel moments for now i'm out <laughs>